anyway, I'm headed out today. Something I wanted to do for a while. I'm driving down to Colorado Springs to uh, drive to the top of Pikes Peak. Um, maybe a bad idea to do this today because it's a Sunday. And uh, Colorado Springs has uh, an unbelievable amount of churches down there. People drive from all over to get to them. There's a lot of them. I think I heard once there's more churches per capita down there than anywhere in the U.S. So it's just a traffic nightmare because there's really only one way through the Springs, and that's on I-25. But uh, I'm going to give it a shot anyway. We may have to take a back way coming back if the traffic's too bad. But um, I drove up to the top of Mount Evans. There's two, two, 1400, two 14ers you can drive to the top of. Uh, Mount Evans is one and Pikes Peak's the other. So it's Labor Day weekend. Got some extra time. It's a beautiful day. So I'm going to... Uh, give it a shot and hopefully traffic's not too bad but I'll uh, catch up with you in a while. This is what I was talking about. Not even halfway there. 75 mile an hour road and I'm doing uh, what, almost 40. Once you get over this hill you might be able to see. I mean this goes on forever. I mean that's what it's like driving down to Colorado Springs. Going down, coming back. It's just, yeah, Sundays are bad. See the highway way over there. Anyway. Keep going, I guess. Got nothing else to do today. Anyway, catch up your lid. Alright, so I'm actually in the springs now and uh, traffic's pretty good. We kind of just went uh, wonky there for a few miles. Um, yeah, they've, they've done a bit to uh, expand the roads down here so it's easier to get through. Today seems to be doing pretty well, which is good. I was just afraid it was going to be like I showed you before all the way down, which has happened. But uh, now we're cruising, and I'll uh, hopefully be able to maybe about 20 minutes out from the entrance of the road to get up to Pikes Peak, so uh, we'll catch up with you later, Paul. Well, I made it. Um, not too much traffic here. Not as much as I thought there would be. Uh, I think it's like 12 bucks to get in. Um, should be cool. It's about 3 o'clock right now. It's a little bit after. Um, pretty excited. The weather's still pretty nice. I got partly cloudy-ish situation. But uh, we'll see. I'll get through this toll and uh, get back to you. All right. All right, so I'm in the gate. Driving up. We have a race up here. Um, it's like the Memorial Day or something. Anyway, there's a motorcycle race to the peak, they call it. And uh, I think some dude went off the side and died this year. I didn't actually come down to the race, I just heard about it. I was camping down here at the time. Not that particular weekend, but I was camping and coming through, and the traffic was really busy, and I couldn't figure out why. I mean, it was especially busy, and it was because of that. Uh, that race that weekend. It's like the first weekend that the Pikes Peak Raceway actually opens up. But uh, yeah, I've never actually been up there, up here. It'll be uh, fun. See a guy in front of me. And that Porsche probably wishes there was nobody in front of him. Just like I do. It's pretty up here though. Anyway, I'll uh, get back to you later. Oh boy. Kids. I took a little detour on the way up to the top. I don't remember what they called this lake, but uh, eh. thought I'd stop and check it out, take a picture or something. It uh, was a weird little trail getting here. Probably should have taken the alternate route, but um, it's pretty nice. I don't know if this was natural or if they put a dam up here after the fact, but there is a dam. Ah, it's not too cold. Not bad at all. All right, well, I'll continue on. So, uh, Catamount Lake is what it was called. I couldn't remember what it was. Or Catamount Reservoir. Some probably would be a reservoir considering it's dammed up. But anyway. Now you know. All right, back to the uh, headed back to the 
road that uh, goes to the, to the summit. I guess this is a loop and this is another way out, which I'm sure this one's a little bit nicer than the one I came in on. The other one I came in on wasn't too bad, but I'm not really into four-wheeling today, especially since I'm in the car. But, uh, well, all right, we'll uh, catch you in a while. up here. Not quite as nice as Mount Evans though. Evans is, uh, I don't know, I think it's nicer because there's not as many trees off the side so it's uh, a little spookier to drive it because um, like there's just edges where everything just falls off. Which is uh, kind of cool, kind of not cool at the same time. Uh, I don't know what's coming up here. I don't know. So we can just go buy it. Anyway, I'll get back to you. Oh, never mind. It says proceed on. Which is where I'm going. There's a little inn back there. I don't know what you do. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, coming back, that's what that little, uh, that little um, booth was. A mandatory brake check. My buddy told me about that, that uh, when you're headed down the mountain, they stop you there and uh, check the temperature on your brakes. He says it's just a ploy to get you into that gift shop to buy crap. Anyway, I'm going to uh, not fall off the cliff and put my hands back on the wheel, so I'll catch you shortly. See, now this is more like it. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's uh, there's nothing there. You go over, you just go over. That's kind of what I remember about Mount Evans. Maybe it was just when we got higher up that it was like that. But, um, yeah, you run out of trees up here because you're above tree lines, so. The guy in a vet up there having fun. But, yeah, this is what I, what I thought about. Let's see. Pretty high up. Pretty cool, actually. Something interesting to see over here is a lot of people parked. Maybe they're just taking pictures over the edge. Can you see the you can see the city uh, to the left? Is that maybe what they're checking out, looking out both sides? There again is that uh, no guardrail see a situation. Anyway, still going. Check this out. That's way down there. Way up here, however you want to look at it. Pretty low. Oh, gotta go. I made it to the summit. I think there's a bit a bit higher than here, but a lot of people over there. I'll get over there in a second. It's way up here. Go to the other side, look around a bit. I think I must have reached the top. Crap, load of people here. Okay. 
Son en son la tercera fila. Son en so this is a train you can take from Manitou Springs all the way up here. People told me about it, I guess I just forgot about it. I didn't really know what they were talking about, but that'd be pretty friggin' cool. Taking a train up the side of the mountain. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna do it someday. There's too many people here, look at that. Look at that. It's too accessible. Anyway, catch you in a while. And it's cold out there. Not even focused. Focus. Get on there. Focus. Yeah, it's uh whoo. Dang. At least my uh I think flip this around. Yep. 14,135 feet. The sign down the hill says 14110 or something. So Watch is pretty accurate at least. But uh, I've been here, done that, now it's time to go. Alright, I'll see if there's this thing, anything cool on my way back down. Alright, see ya. Alright, so I'm headed down from the top. Let's see if I can't uh, get down to the bottom without lighting my brakes on fire. It's pretty steep. Just keep it in a down gear. Hopefully I'll be alright. It's really nice up here. see that out there and the big drop off of nothingness this guy biking to the top of this dude crazy mofo man but he's almost there, so that's good for him. It's amazing. It's just really nice. shut this off and drive so anyway I made it down uh, it was fun it was a nice day weather was good it got pretty cold on the top I looked at my temperature gauge on the car and it said it was uh, 51 that's after I'd been driving down for a little while but uh, yeah it's a good time another 14 done 14 are done and I didn't have to walk at all so uh, thanks for watching if you like uh, hit the like button subscribe button all the good buttons and I'll uh, see you next time. All right, bye.